don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Don't answer that. Don't head to the Hague. Uh, there's uh, some people joining. Yeah. World Scholar Cup as well. And we came across an Indian girl. I don't care. Yeah. And they say, yes, we're vlogging. So we need to just no. speak a lot. I think we need to take our baggage. Alright, we're waiting for our baggage. Here's a house tour of our uh, friend, who, my dad's friend, uh, my friends. All right, this is the kitchen. Pretty lovely. The house in Netherlands are pretty nice, specifically the Hague. And this is the piano. This is, I don't know, speakers. The TV. Xbox. They have an Xbox. And this is their guitar set. And Musical instruments basically. Probably a musical instruments fan. Alright, so let's go check out my room. This is my shoes. Okay. Room's upstairs. Whew, exhausting. No, there's no way. No. You should just find it or tell me. I'm not the no, owner of this house. I'm not the owner of the house, man. I don't know. Okay, so this is their room. Hi, Kanjana. Hi, Karna. Okay. Room tour. Look at that sexy dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> Alright, so here's the balcony. Uh, it's got a pretty lovely view of the neighborhood. Everything. Alright. Damn, pigeons. There's pigeons. Oh, freak. Alright, so I'm going to check out my room, my temporary room. Alright, so here's the bathroom first. Okay, pretty sweet bathroom. Alright, here's uh, the owner's room. Here's my room, my cool room. Alright, so that's basically it. Alright, thanks. Specifically, <laughs> 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 
Pi khè ní nhôm mười cái răng nhôm Nè khè pi đắng nhôm mười cái răng nhôm Ôi nó xa ăn bà
Champions is the ultimate crossover of the World Scholars Cup because you have all these superhero scholars from all the different global rounds that are suddenly in the same movie. But they were also still really interested in arts and music and history and science. This is the where representatives from all of these different global rounds can come together. TLC feels much. celebration of friendship. It's really a quest for knowledge you have to learn at some point in their life. Like memory, human relationships, black markets. The depth of inquiry for them is genuine and at this point Team. My name is Su Xian and I represent Indonesia in today's debate. Today the affirmative team will be debating for the motion that history teachers should share their opinion about the history that they teach. Now before beginning this debate and taking this motion any further, we would like to start by defining a few terms. First, our take on the 
story, their story, or our story. What I'm trying to say is, is there any type of history that is unbiased? For example, have you ever heard of the story of Henrietta Lacks, an African-American woman whose cells created the polio vaccine? No. If anybody tries to penetrate the past with the knife of the present, it will always be in vain. Hello, dear judges, respectful opponents, love me, lovely teammates, and of course, amazing audience. My name is Maria Volovodova from the International School of Amsterdam here in the Netherlands. I am the last speaker of the negative team, and I'm here to state why this motion is truly and clearly flawed. First of all, I will begin with a rebuttal, with a couple rebuttals. So, uh, first of all, what the other team mentioned a lot is that history is just dry facts and textbooks, when it really is not. History is an epic. History is a force, and history should not be tampered with. That is why opinions should not be influencing it. Scholars, give it up one more time for the fourth negative speaker. So I have two points that the affirmative side could have used. Firstly, contributing to Swati's point, history is almost always written by the victors, and when the negative keeps bringing up that the teacher could be opinionated, they're ignoring the fact that history textbooks are already opinionated. Hello, my name is Richard from Footprint School in Cambodia. And I would like to say that I agree with the fact that uh, teachers should give their opinions because if you stop your opinions, what's next? What else do you stop? Do you stop your opinions? Do you stop your freedom of choice? What else would you stop once you stop these opinions? Because you need to get these thoughts out, because you need to get these ideas out of your head, and you cannot just keep them in. You need to get these opinions out. That is my opinion. My name is Hendrix Hancock from the International School of Amsterdam, and I thought that with the affirmative team, um, you know, with freedom of speech and how most, a lot of, well not most, but a lot of countries have freedom, and, freedom of speech implemented in, in them already, when teachers share their opinions, whether they're radicalist or not, um, it lets the student discuss with that teacher and debate with that teacher on said opinion because discussion breeds knowledge, and school is for knowledge. So, um, hi, I'm Kirtna, and I'm from Sacred Heart School. And I would like to help with the affirmative team, saying that history is a set of stories, and stories has many twists and turns, and not everything is black and white. And with that being black and white, when you have opinions given in classes, it simply just teaches you how to tolerate opinions, whether it's biased or it's politically correct, in the real world. Because the real world is full of opinions, even in actual, like, justice crimes. Oh, are you ready, you guys? Can you give us a drum roll? Drum roll. And the winner is... Affirmative 
team won the debate, guys. Scholars, give it up one more time for everyone who is involved. <laughs> Debaters, please cross the threshold, shake hands, mingle with the panelists. This truly is bringing together some of the highest per world. They've worked hard all season long, and when you bring together students who have put in that collective effort, they can all learn from each other. The heroes of World Scholars. And we just had so much fun going around the different places and completing the most random challenges. That's for me is the most amazing feeling. Showing them that learning can be fun, learning can be interesting, and that learning can be a real journey for them. Whether you're a talented singer or whether you drink milk really fast, you know, there's always something to be expressed. Our interview in front of everyone, and the great thing is everyone can accept you, and you can be comfortable around them as well. All their energy that they've built up. It was amazing people and making new friends. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Embrace your awkwardness. Just go out. Celebrate your success as well. Is playing as a large group of people is huddled around a giant Havana banner holding candles. Havana banner has been ripped off its stand. Scholars are going crazy trying to destroy it. Everyone there did understand. You get to hear about the optic way and it's really hands-on. It's not just you reading a Wikipedia page about why the kimono is important in Japanese culture. We have
bring us together as a global community. There is no another's achievements. The stage becomes, you can no longer tell who won. Having had this little world does for the better as people. Often it's a kind of broadening of their horizons.
fun. Meeting people from different cultures, talking to them, debating, and then dancing the night away. I have never regretted a single round that I've been to. Before we announce the final set of qualifying teams and finish well ahead of schedule, we must take a little bit of the time we have remaining to us to thank a group of individuals who are very patient with us when we do not finish ahead of schedule, who are very supportive of us and more importantly who support you. They guide you, they teach you. They bring you here and they take care of you and they celebrate your achievements at your side even though they are never the ones on stage. They are the ones waiting for you as you return to your seats. They are the teachers of the World Scholars Cup. Please put your hands together for all of these incredible individuals. Some are new, some have been with us for 10 years. We treasure every one of them because they treasure every one of you. Behind every team, behind every scholar, and also behind the teachers of the program, behind every one of us, and literally behind me, are our families. Scholars, our families support us our whole lives long. They give us a chance to take journeys like this one. They support us even when they don't understand us. And they love us with all that they have. One more time for the families behind the World Scholars Cup Scholars. And now, to our champion teams. In 20th place, from the International School of Amsterdam, it is Team 368. In 19th place, from in this International School Poon, it is Team 273. In 18th place, from the British International School of Ljubljana, it is Team 392. Three, four. 
Some of you this season, if you see John C. Joker Dylan, can you bring us their clothes? Scholars, before we leave, as one global community here at the end of our global round of the Hague, on the count of three, can we have a claw? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And can we have one cheer? One, two, three. Cheer. Scholars, okay, you should do one, two. Okay. How about chair claw on three? One, two, three! Scholars, we love you so much. We hope you have a safe trip home.
Thank you.